Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very very interesting question from algebra. We have x power 30 plus 1 over x power 30 equal to 52. We have to evaluate x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 given that x is positive and real number. So let's get started by considering required expression is E. Now I will use substitution straight away. Let us say x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 equal to y. Now we will write here x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 whole cube. Let's apply a plus b whole cube formula. So we can write here x power 10 whole cube which is x power 30 plus 1 over x power 10 whole cube. We will write 1 over x power 30 plus 3 times x power 10 times 1 over x power 10 that will get over. So in the bracket we are going to write x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10. Now in LHS we will write y cube in RHS x power 30 plus 1 over x power 30 is 52 plus 3 times x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 is y or we can write our cubic equation y cube minus 3y minus 52 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation. Let's solve using rational root theorem and synthetic division method. So I will write y cube minus 3y minus 52 equal to 0. Now we have to find the eligible factors of 52 first. So we can write here plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 4 plus minus 13 and so on. Leading coefficient is 1 so we will write only plus minus 1. Now we will take ratio of constant to leading coefficient. So in this series if I will plug in y equal to 1 it is plus 1 over plus 1. So we are going to put y equal to 1 to our equation. We will be getting 1 cube minus 3 times 1 is 3 minus 52. It is not going to be 0. If I will plug in y equal to negative 1, we will get minus 1 plus 3 minus 52. Again it won't satisfy our equation. If I will plug in y equal to 2, so we will get 8 minus 6 minus 52, not satisfying equation. If I will plug in y equal to negative 2, so we can write minus 8 plus 6 minus 52. Again it is not satisfying our equation. Now next number is 4. We are going to plug y equal to 4 to our cubic equation. We will be getting 4 cube 64 minus 3 times 4 12 minus 52. So yes this time it is true. So we will say y equal to 4 is our base solution. Now we are going to apply synthetic division method. So we need to write our coefficients of cubic equation. So coefficients are 1, 0, minus 3 and minus 52. Let me write here. Base solution is 4. 1, 0, minus 3, minus 52 are the coefficients of cubic equation. Now we will put one line leading coefficient 1 would be as it is. Now we have to multiply our base solution 4 with leading coefficient 1. So 4 times 1 
we will write 4 here. Now we have to add these two numbers. So we are going to get 4. 4 times 4 is 16. We will add minus 3 with 16. We will be writing here 13. 4 times 13 is 52. Once we will add these two, we are going to get 0. So these coefficients are coefficients of quadratic equation. So we can write equation in y, y square minus 4y plus 13 equal to 0. Now we can check discriminant here or we can find factors also. Let us use completing the square method this time. y square plus 4y equal to negative 13. Now we will add 4 to both sides. So plus 4 plus 4. In LHS we can write this is y plus 2 whole square. And in RHS it, this is minus 9. Which we can write this is 3i whole square. We know that i square is negative 1. i square is minus 1. So we can use this property of complex number. Now we will take a square root both sides. So we will get y plus 2 equal to plus minus i times 3. So I can write here y will be equal to minus 2 plus minus 3i. Both roots are complex. So we are going to reject. Reject it as roots are complex. So accepted value would be y equal to 4 only. Let me write here y equal to 4. And y was our substitution. So I will write x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 equal to 4. Now our target expression is, if I will write here, e equal to x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. Now we are going to add 2 to both sides. So let me write here, x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 plus 2 equal to 4 plus 2. So from LHS, we can write this is perfect square of x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. We can check also x power 5 whole square is x power 10. 1 over x power 5 whole square is 1 over x power 10. And 2 times x power 5 times 1 over x power 5 is 2. And in RHS, we can write 6. 4 plus 2 is 6. Now we have to take a square root both sides. We will be getting x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to plus minus square root 6. Let me write here x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to plus minus square root 6. Now at the beginning it was given x is positive. So once we will add with odd power, then we are going to get positive result. So we will write here x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5. This must be positive. We will write our answer square root 6. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.